Hello, my Basset Hound friends and my sexy little pie cuties. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark a Punk, here with a brand new studio album ranking. I thought it'll be interesting if I rank Biohazard. Yeah, though that band. Um, they're somewhat new metal, rap metal, whatever type band. So I haven't ranked anything new metal in a while until I found Biohazard is one of them. And uh, oh, I'm looking forward to this one. So there's only nine main main ones in the whole discograph. And uh, oh boy. So this is going to be an interesting first time rank for this one. So and uh, ranking them worst the best. And it's going to be an interesting ranking. So a uh, very controversial ranking. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, Belch. Anyway, um, let's just rank all nine of the Biohazard studio albums worst to best. Here we go. The ninth worst one, and it's Biohazard's worst offering for their main ones. Gotta help us all is uh, kill or be killed. What in the fuck is this one? Okay, some story about this one. <laughs> There's not a single goddamn track I like about this album, so... This is one of those forgotten Biohazard albums, to be honest. The band did not literally give a fuck when they released this at all. Maybe it's a bad production, bad lyrics. Oh my god, it's all over the place for this album, so... Bad production, bad vocals. So, this album is all over the place being bad, so... This is probably Biohazard's worst offering. And uh, I will never go back to listening to this one. Holy shit. It's, it, I've been through hell going through this one. And there's not a single track I like. And, uh, oh my god. My, it gets an official, um, Bass Hound shit album. So fuck this one. <clears throat> and that's what's gonna be in my bottom always at my number nine. Which is kill or be killed. Fuck you. Coming in at my number 8th position, my second least favorite is actually Reborn in Defiance album. Their last album they made. And uh, it's a little bit better than Kill or Be Killed in my opinion, I guess. I do like the opening intro, the first track. I can't pronounce that. There's numbers and letters on it. And I do like Vengeance is Mine is a good, is a good song, I guess. Countdown Doom is pretty good. Waste Away is good. Skull Crusher is an awesome song. Uh, Season the Sky is the last song I do like from this album. And uh, only six songs I can remember liking from this album. Oh, and a fly flew in my screen. And, uh, oh my god. Yeah, this is considered to be my second least favorite from Biohazard. And, uh, so yeah. My number eight is going to be Reborn in Defiance. And my ranking here on out is going to be fucking bonkers here on out. And uh, my number seven is going to be Means to an End album. I want this to be good. This is actually better than Killed or Be Killed. This is the, the follow up to it. It's a little bit better. Thank the Lord. And there's songs I do like, which is seven of them. My Life, My Way, The Fire Burns Inside, Filled With Hate, Break It Away From Me, Kings Never Die, Don't Stand Alone, and lastly, To The Grave. Those are the only sevens I remember liking from this album, but at least it's a little better than Kill To Be Killed, thank God about that. But it's at my bottom, I wish it could have been a little bit better for me. And uh, I can still have some good time with this one. But not as super much. This is in the below average category for me overall. My number seven is actually means to an end. And it literally is. Now, coming in at my number six, this might be a controversial opinion. It's in the middle of my ranking. It's got to be Mata Le Leo. That's the name of the album? Yeah, I hope I pronounced that name right. Yeah, um, this is their four fourth full-length album. 
This one is a um, above average entertaining album. I can get used to a little bit. Songs I did like is uh, These Eyes N Have Seen, Stigmatized, Cleansing, Modern Democracy, Better Days, Gravity, A Lot to Learn, Away, and lastly, Truth, True Strengths. Yeah, um, this one's a average one in my opinion. I can okay listen to type Biohazard album. And, uh, yeah, this is the uh, above average category for this one. I can have a decent enough time with this one. So my number six is going to be Mata Leo. My number five is going to be State of the World Address album. Again, average, decent listen to type Biohazard album. Yeah, this one's above average. And there's at least nine or ten songs I like from this. So State of the World Address, Doom, uh, not Doom, Down for Life, Tales from the Hard Side, awesome song by the way, Remember, Five Blocks to the Subway, that's another good song by the way, but there is another al album that is actually better than this. But anyway, Each Day, Failed Territory, uh, Cornered, and lastly, Love Denied. And, uh, yeah, this is another above average listen, decent enough time with this one, type one from Biohazard. Enjoyable. Not to the highest. But my number five is gonna be State of the World Address. And now my number four is actually gonna be Biohazard's self titled debut, 1990. So there you go. I wanted to like their self-titled debut from early 90, 1990. I really wanted to. This is where they first started, and uh, not what they, not where they first started. This is their very first full-length album they made, so self-titled debut. This one is actually good. It's not high on my ranking. I can have a good enough time with this one. There is a few songs I did like from this um, full-length self-titled debut album. Is uh, Retribution. Victory, Howard Beach, Wrong Side of the Tracks is a pretty good song, Skinny Song is good, uh, Hold My Own is a good song, Panic Attack is good, Survival of the Fist is good, and lastly, There and Back. Yeah, this is a good um, Biohazard self-titled debut album. This is a good one I would have in this top of my ranking. It's enjoyable. So, there is a few songs I didn't like from this. But the rest of the songs are pretty good. And uh, my number four is gonna be their self-titled 1990, which is Biohazard. My top three here on out, I like all tracks of these Biohazard albums, by the way. My top three, controversially, I think are pretty good. So my number three bronze is going to be New World Disorder album. This one I think is pretty good in my opinion from Biohazard, this is a damn good one. I like all 14 tracks. All of them are pretty good. So, Resist, Switch Back, Salvation, End of My Rope, All for None, Breakdown, Inner Fear On, Abandon in Place, Skin, Camouflage, Decline, Cycle of the Abuse, Dogs of War, and lastly, New World Order. And on this album, actually, uh, Corey Taylor is actually in one, one of the songs. I can't remember which one it was. Um, I can't remember which track it was he was on. Yeah, he's on this album, by the way, as a guest singer. And uh, that's pretty cool. Gotta love Corey Taylor. And uh, that's pretty cool. And that's where it's going to be in my top three. My number three bronze, I have to give it to No World Disorder. I think this is a damn good one. So my number two Silver Medal winner is actually going to be Uncivilization. I made a mistake since my number three. Actually, Corey Taylor is in the Uncivilization, or was it the last one? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, my number two is Uncivilization. This is a damn another damn good one. I like all tracks in this one. So Sell Out, Uncivilization, Wide Awake, Get Away, Unified, Gone, Let Her Go. Uh, Last Man Standing, HFFK, 
um, domination, trap, plastic, and lastly, cross the line. Corey Taylor is actually on the song called Domination, by the way. I got mixed up in the last one. He's actually on this album as a, a singer appearance in this one. It's actually pretty cool. He's, he's on the Domination song. Pretty awesome. Um, gotta love Corey Taylor. And uh, I made a mistake about that. So Humans make mistakes every once in a while. But anyway, this is another enjoyable Biohazard album. This is a damn good one. And uh, I like this one. My number two silver, I have to give it to Uncivilization. But my obvious number one gold medal winner has to be out of all nine of the Biohazard albums. This might be the most obvious pick out of all of them. Is it? Whatever, it's Urban Discipline album. Yes, this is the most obvious pick. This is um, Biohazard's best album they made, is this one. This is their damn good one on my top three. Yeah, out of all of them, this one's good. I like all tracks in this one, and it's one of their best albums they made, <laughs> in my opinion. And it's a Roadrunner release album as well, which is actually pretty cool. And I like all tracks. I'll name all the tracks so I can get the hell out of here and end this video. So Chamber Spins 3, Punishment, good song by the way, uh, Shades of Grey, Business, Black and White, and Red All Over, Man With Promise, Disease, Urban Discipline, there you go, Loss, Wrong Side of the Tracks is an awesome song, Mistaken Identity, We're Only Gonna Die from Our Own uh, Arrogance, Bad Religion cover by the way, um, Tears of Blood, and lastly, Hold My Own Way. Yes! This one I can listen to mostly. This is Biohazard's best one. The most obvious pick, I know. Damn good one in my opinion. And it's a Roadrunner released album from them as well. I think it's their only Roadrunner released record album they released. And uh, it's pretty rare. And uh, this is a damn good one from Biohazard. Definitely my number one gold medal winner. I have to give it to Urban Discipline. And there you go. That is my first time ranking the Biohazard album's worst to best. Uh, and on my next one, next ranking is a little bit better than this, trust me. But I would be caught dead if I ever listened to Kill or Be Killed album. Holy crap, I hate that fucking album so much. Never gonna listen to that shit again. I can tell you that much. Um, so yeah, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. So subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell to get notified in all of my notifications on that bell logo. On all of it. Also like and share the studio album ranking of Biohazard studio albums worst to best. And I will see you, my best home friends, and my sex and pie cuties on my next studio album ranking. Seizure later.